We've got a pretty incredible story out of New Jersey Community College baseball. The Atlantic Cape baseball coach resigns after illegal communication devices found in his players' helmets. These two teams played three games against each other. In the first game, freshman pitcher Ethan Dodd approached his coaches and said, hey, I think I was tipping. Uh, they were getting really good swings. They were all over me. His coaches said, we just kind of dismissed it. We didn't think there was anything there. In hindsight, his senses were okay. Uh, but then the next game, the first baseman, Felix Diaz, tells his coach that he could hear noises coming out of the Atlantic Cape players' helmets. So now you got two players coming to you saying, something's up. And when it gets to game three, they wait a little bit to the third inning until those two players come to bat and try to figure out you know, what is going on? Let's sniff this out. You can see the catcher give his signs right here. And then, you know, he's staring. He's looking. Maybe he's listening. Can he hear anything? You got anything? It's a 2-2 game. Bottom three. Ball's put in play. That guy reaches base. And then the next batter, he's the other culprit. And you can see in the dugout, the coach has an iPad on his lap. And uh, you're not allowed to have iPads in the dugout. So the opposing coaches, my assumption was he was using the iPad to watch the live stream, the center field camera, and looking into the catcher's signs. Uh, but whether he did it or not, you're not allowed to have iPads in the dugout. And he has one on his lap right there as his players are hitting. This is the next batter that's part of the suspect crew. What a stance. Kind of a give no no fuck stance, just like I'm going to stand here and, yeah, just poised. I mean, just kind of like you're messing around. Big old swing at a ball in the dirt and then takes that pitch. Now, this camera angle isn't great. And then they go to this camera angle sometimes too. So if that's the only stream they have, I don't know how much they're able to pick up by watching this stream. And now these players are kind of guarding coach. Don't know if that's on purpose or not, or that's just a normal place to stand. It is somewhat a normal place to stand. And you guard balls from going in there. But they're also blocking the coach who's got the iPad that he's not supposed to have, supposedly. 3-2 pitch, he walks, and the runner steals. So now both those runners are on base, and they're going to call this like fake pickoff because that was one thing they said. They said they were getting really good reads on jumps, whether it was a pickoff or it was a good pitch to steal, and that is kind of just fake, and the guy gets back to second base, and now the coach is going to come out, and he's going to have to make the oddest request he's probably ever made, and the other coach in the dugout's like, uh, what's this? He says, hey, can you go check his helmet to see if there's uh, a device in there? Uh, because we're hearing things and umpire's like, okay. And then he's like, oh, well, shit. And then they check the other runner's helmet and the kid's like, yeah, it's for practice, but they're, yeah, you're right. There is something in there. Like, well, shit. Okay. And then umpire goes to the coach and he's fumbling with his pockets. Like, what am, what do I got a remote controller or something? Like, you think I got a walkie talkie? Like, what are you talking about? I, and then this kid on hitting is like, look, here's my helmet. There's nothing in there. And he's like, yeah, but those two guys, we already found it in their helmets. So maybe you just don't think this kid's good enough to have a listening device. The umps get together, and uh, yeah, the umpires did find earpieces in the helmets of the runner on second and first. They said the devices were just used for practice. Uh, according to the rules, only a catcher can use an electronic communication device, not other players. And they were breaking the rules by using the devices in the helmets of the base runners, obviously. And what do you mean they only use them in practice? Why would you have two helmets with earpieces in them in batting helmets in practice? What does that do? So the ump says, hey, they said they're just using it for practice. And the coach is like, no, what are you talking about? My player said he heard noises coming out of it. That's the whole reason we know about it. And I asked you to check on it. Why would we know about it if they weren't using it? And they're not noises coming out of it. So the home plate ump goes back to the other ump. And he's like, hey, so, yeah. And that ump's like, I don't know, man. Let me run to my car and grab my cell phone and call people. They call their supervisor. And they're like, uh, you guys didn't prep us for this at all. What are we supposed to do here? And what they did was they removed the earpieces from the helmets. They didn't eject anyone. And then they let the game resume. But the other coach said, hey, we're not playing if that center field camera is still live streaming the game. So they also took down the live stream of the center field camera 
which BFA Sports says would have been impossible to use to their advantage. They said that uh, it's not possible to watch the live stream during the game, and it's a 45-second delay of any live feed. And also, to my point earlier, it's like framed pretty oddly, and you can't even see the catcher signs. And a lot of times they were going to this angle, which wouldn't help you out at all, especially those two batters. But if they did have earpieces and were using them, then the coach just telling them steal now or he's picking you off or this or that. I mean, he definitely was talking to them through the earpieces because the other team isn't going to make up willy-nilly. I heard voices coming from this helmet. That's a crazy thing to make up on a whim. And then it's true that there are devices in the helmets, but you just made up the fact that they use them to benefit them. Anyway, the coach had to resign. The school board was like, this isn't good. And that's the craziness that happened in the, this league of community college baseball. Only two players had them. Pretty insane.